All right, we're back. So we are gonna grease this lever. What? What? Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh yeah. But this is me. Impossible. How can I be dead? Wait, what? I'm a ghost? What? So, what? The bastard did it. He finally destroyed me. Oh, my, my very last word. The bastard did it. He finally destroyed me. I have been hidden pretty well by the workers who trusted in my ability to reject the nightmares. Unfortunately, they did not this did not hold back the wicked plans of Whittler. He basically poisoned the water provided on the hotel floor, figuring I need to eat and drink like any other mortal. The, the most ironic thing of it all is that I found the key to the lab where they made this substance. Merely, uh, merely hours before I got poisoned, I discovered was, was kill, what is killing me now. And it's just some, it's just some acid to melt metal call, called Whaler's Tonic. That is why I saw no danger in it, if only I knew better. I was supposed to be their savior, their, their redeemer, the one that was resistant to the tyranny of Whittler, but I failed. The regulator must be stopped at any cost. This machine could destroy the world as we know it. It is still not too late, as I sense this machine is not at its full potential. So whoever reads this, please do anything in your power to stop Adam Willer and his machine. At first I wanted to escape this place, but then I understood my colleagues were not responsible for their mental instability. All hope for me is lost, as I only exist in the afterlife now. I wish I could assist my fellow man on the other side. Be Well, who knows what the meant-to-be redeemer is capable of. My very last words from, with regard, Clyde Randall. So I'm not, either I'm not Clyde Randall, or I'm a ghost. This is highly confusing. So, who am I? I may have this random guy that's like... Oh, I'm gonna go here and f screw up the plans of this guy. Uh, I wouldn't be right. Maybe I'm ran uh, I'm Clyde possessing someone. That sounds a little bit more reasonable. Or the stoned ones just grab the random person. First best person they saw. That is. But he said he said that is me. So he must have recognized himself, which means I don't know. I, I'm I'm just confused. Hotel laboratory key. This should unlock the door to the lab where they invented the acid that killed me. Oh no, don't tell me I have to do some experimental stuff here. Lab report, 24th of July, 1840, by Dr. Mos Moses Jengel. We finally created the we Weyers tonic. Adam Widler will be proud of us. This will destroy Clyde Randall for sure. The only thing he needs to do is to drink water. Even if he finds out we will ne he will never suspect a metal melting substance it actually meant for his death. The unfortunate side effects will be that destroy most of the good test subjects and other work, uh, workers that stay here. Also, Whittler's 
Wilders. Wilders? Uh, I've, said, I've been saying Wilders all this time. <laughs> Wilders. No, it, it says Whittler up there, but there's it Wilders, so I guess it's Whittler. Also, Whittler's annoying daughter is snooping around here for some reason. But we have to do this, we have to do this. Luckily enough, I came into the possession of another acid resistant glass jar so I can transport it to the water supply. We will hide all victims behind some rocks in, the, in one of the hotel rooms before anyone will find out. Hopefully it will not wreak too much corpses. Too much of corpses on the works worker sections on, on the hotel after hiding them. Maybe I'm the daughter? That would be interesting. To say the least. Then again I it, again he did say I that that is me. I guess we'll find out soon. Because I, I have a I have a very strong suspicion that this is this is drawing to an end. This is gonna it, this is gonna be over soon enough. It will guide you towards the truth. Hmm? Oh, hi guys! How are ya? Has a spare oil for me? Cause I'm all out. Shit. These are all the poison workers. Alright. Yeah. Oh! Okay, I'm not go I'm going to Oh! What? Okay, let's run! If you guys are my friends, can't you just block the damn thing? Man, I run so slow! I think he got stuck somewhere. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, yeah, what up? God, he's like a mouse. Dodge that shit. Alright. Were the planks back there for a second there? I think what they meant before with, you know, oil will uh, that you need to conserve the oil it's probably you know just the fact that later it won't keep much oil because I'm not getting much oil anymore all right let's see if I can take this with me nope I cannot all right I guess I won't need it then This is the part where I die. <laughs> Alright. This is a really good custom story. It haven't... It hasn't had many, you know, one of those, you know, many of those cheap jump scares, you know, when you... When something pops right in your face. I like that, because you don't have to do in your face kind of jump scares. I've had a few, but a few is all right, but when you rely on them, it's just, it's not scary. They're not scary. They're just, you know, it could pop up a kitten for all, for all, for all, it, for all the good it will do. You will still be, you know, startled by it. 
the cheap jump scare is not good. It's like it it needs to be like scares, but not jump. It's uh, not cheap ones. Earthquake remains mystery. Reyk Reykjavik, Iceland, November fourth, eighteen forty. On October the 21st, a loud rumble was heard from the far no north of Iceland, considering it was an earthquake. Considering it was an earthquake, the rumbling st sound still remains a great mystery. The famous vault project was that was the station close to the where the apparent earthquake came from had no report to an exterior laboratory ever since. This worries the lab technicians outside the project, the project, because the daily progress report was confirming, confirmed every day. But due to the security of the project, aid organizations are having trouble locating the position of the possible catastrophic scene. Whitler Construction claimed that the fame was fame after starting the revolutionary vault project in 1796 involved more than 150 volunteers provided the opportunity to live and work there. Later Whittler reclaimed fame by starting a, that ancient, stating that the ancient temple was, with mystic powers was the reason he built the vault project on that specific location. Why no details about this temple were ever revealed, were ever revealed also remains another mystery that inhabits this project all over. Sorry for reading that terribly, but I want to move on. <laughs> when I read too quickly, I just... Yeah. <laughs> I stumble over the words. When I read out words wrong and stuff happens. Hello? Oh! What? What the hell? Oh, what, what is this? Not chasing me yet, though. Oh, it's coming closer. Oh, it teleported. <laughs> The cheating bastard! Still way ahead of him. Why is it so lit? Oh no! He spotted me! Whoop! Oh. Not so tough now, are ya? Ha ha ha! Oh yes. Awesome. <laughs> he got crushed by a pillar. Oh wow, it's dark on the floor. Alright. That wasn't so bad. Texture just change? Did I switch game? <laughs> I actually just remembered that. <coughs> the screenshot had some very interesting textures, but I haven't really seen them. Yeah, okay, this is the part where the texture change. Barrels have become 
trash cans. I guess we're high up. Oh look, computers. Click, 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 click. click. Venture Report, 17th of March, 1987, by J.K. Willem. What? How far in the future are we? We have succeeded in reactivating the core of this historic machine, but we are still trying to discover its actual purpose. Everyone on our venture is having re restless nights. Consider coincidental. It all started ever since the old, this old machine is operational. Probably the team is very or almost too excited about our progress. A team member found an approximately 100 year old piece of paper somewhere in the rubble. It appears to be a diary of someone named Lucas Brighton. Here was a free, few key words and sentences we could recover. Diaries, diary of Lucas Brighton, 25th of July 1840. Even our savior died because Acid in the water system. The only one unaffected by nightmares, Adam Willer also. The most interesting part is that we found that we found another name. Figure that this Adam Widler worked with this great grandfather. With the great grandfather of our supervisor, his name was Dr. Moses Jengles. In fact, we found out Mr Mr. Widler was the boss of the cooperation Dr. Jengle worked for. We are now even closer to discovering what this whole clandestine project was all about. I'm sure Rudolf Jengel will be pleased of hearing these results. Oh my god, I've gone into the future. Oh, come on, what, what's wrong with you? What's wrong? Is it because this thing is open? No? What? I'm not getting back out of here, am I? I can literally not get it any more open! Ah, there we go. I'm going to lose some weight. So... I... What is going on? So I'm, I must have gone forward in time. I like, I like. It's very well made, though. Venture report, 9th of March, 1987, by Jacob Williams. He wanted to proceed further with to find more on the Human Life Safeguard Project. Adam Widler started somewhere around here. And boy we did fu and boy we did. We found a steel melting plant underground. This is amazing of course. Who was so brilliant to put that that here in a secret all that here in secret all this time. The unfortunate thing now is that we cannot proceed any further because we had not anticipated to find such a set Sitting in the middle of nowhere. So now we do not have the proper protection clothing. Clotting. Clothing. Against the at least 1000 degrees heat produced by, the, by that area. The nightmares are getting worse though. And some are even dreaming the exact same thing. The most stated nightmare is the one. Where stone statues appearing in groups. And they whisper things like. We are disobedient to Widler's terror. We must be freed from the great powers of this temple. Although these nightmares occur frequently, the motivations stay strong among our colleagues. Even the collapsing danger, collapsing danger does not stop us. We have put up wooden beams all over the place to hold everything firmly. I do hope the electrical power remains stable, otherwise the doors will not open and we had some trouble with that lately. Still, I think it's a hassle to have to have some door switches on by the computer, but I can understand the security reasons. So basically history is repeating itself. 
Great. <laughs> Perfect. Anyway, I'm out of time, so I'll have to see you guys later. Bye.